Okay, okay. Yep. Uh, Alright, I have to go, but I think everything should be unlocked. Oh, I haven't done that yet today. Ah, two reps words. I hope there's enough time to do it all today. Alright. <laughs> right in the middle. If I went to see pattern here. Huh? Look! Over there by the hot pot stand! We know them! Hmm. Huh? Well. Oh. Traveler, Paimon! You're here too? Has Yami restaurant gone downhill or something? Was Shelling's cooking too hot to handle? No, it's nothing like that. Wanmin restaurants just closed for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to try somewhere different for a change. Su Arnyang's hot pot is pretty good, and you can't get it at Wanmin restaurant. Wanmin's closed? Why? What happened? Well, it was partly our fault. Recently, some old classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch and said they were organizing a get-together. Yenfei's the most senior among us, since she's the most qualified, so she got to pick the location. And she booked Wanmin Restaurant. The turnout was a lot higher than expected, and in the space of two days, we somehow got through all of the restaurant's stock for the week ahead. <sighs> Boss's enormous appetite was also a significant contributing factor. He went a little crazy. Chef Mao was pretty wiped out by the end, but he had a huge smile on his face. It was the best business he's had in months. The only thing is, it'll take him at least a couple days to fully restock. Us, Ito. Bull checkers here too? Ah, oh, Paimon's surprised we haven't seen him. Those horns stick out like two sore thumbs. Yeah. When he heard I was meeting up with some old classmates, he got very excited and decided he was coming with me. His logic was, and I quote, any classmate of Shinobu's is a classmate of mine. Notwithstanding the fact that Boss has never studied a day in his life, I think he just feels that he didn't get enough chances to indulge his taste buds last time he was in Liyue. That other kid you guys brought with you though, what was his name again? Oh yeah. Grandmaster Hanakado, he seems like a smart cookie. You probably didn't notice because you were busy chatting to your classmates at the time, but he was helping Chef Mao out in the kitchen, uh, trying to pick up some uh, Liyue cooking skills. I suspect he just wanted to learn how to make some new dishes to feed to his oni kabuto and make them stronger. Grandmaster Hanakado? Uh, where do we know that name from? Oh, yeah! Didn't we meet him during that beetle battle thing that Bullchucker organized that one time? The Almighty are attack extraordinary and accelerating extremely beetle brawl. Can remember, but in a way, it's not important. That's right. Good memory, Paimon. After the near catastrophe that was the beetle brawl, Hanakado became an ally of the Arataki gang. He and Boss regularly hang out to have practice matches and discuss Oni Kabuto rearing strategies. But to his credit, a lot of the things he ropes Boss into doing in the name of beetle brawling actually result in Boss doing some real work for a change. It's made things a lot easier for me. For instance, they've decided to spend a few days helping Chef Mao restock the kitchen, partly to thank him for the epic feast and partly because they would like to use the opportunity to look for new ingredients to boost their Onikabuto's performance. I think they're out looking for crabs at Guyun Stone Forest right now, with Miss Shangling and Mr. Guoba. They all seem to get along great. Guoba's already made friends with Crimson Staff, as Ito calls it, and, uh, something-something 
Beetle King, or whatever Hanakados is called. They've been out for quite a while, though. Shouldn't they be back by now? Unless something put them in a playful mood. In which case, it's anyone's guess what kind of mess they might be in by now. Well, now Paimon wants to join in the fun! Crabs from Glee and Stone Forest? Mmm, Paimon bets they taste great! Why don't we go see if they need our help? The sooner Wanmi Restaurant is fully stocked, the sooner we get to eat there again! And while we're at it, we can see what Bullchucker and Grandmaster Hanakado are really up to over there. So, uh, if we're serious about eating at a Wanmi Restaurant, getting grades will go faster with more things. So you two are gonna head over? I think that's a great idea! The Traveler, Paimon, and Ito make a good team. Not everyone can get through to him, but he usually listens to you two. You make a good point. Well, thanks for checking up on them, you two. Hmm. Ugh, I'm suddenly feeling a bit warm. Maybe I've been eating too much spicy food lately? Oh no, you poor thing! It could be a fever, or maybe the humidity's making you overheat. Wait here, I'll go get you some iced tea. Alright, so... Oh, it's a bit far. They removed the ring gardens there. Ring guards. A whole bunch of legs looks like a born warrior. The crab is the Onikabuto of the sea! Throw one of these bad boys in the ring and your Onikabuto will have to seriously up its game. That's right, Oni King! Technically, the crab belongs to a different species, but it has all the qualities of the perfect warrior beetle. Pitting Onikabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. Then it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever before! No rest until they've flipped every crab in the area onto its back. And once they're done, we'll just need to stoop down and scoop them up! No more chasing crabs all over the beach! La 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 la. Looks like Xiangling and Guoba are part of the gang now. And time for Onikabuto for Scrap. Uh huh. Traveler Paimon! Fancy meeting you here! Are you guys out for a walk or something? Sounds hey, like... Xiangling! Hey, Guoba! Well, we were going to gorge ourselves at one mean restaurant, but then we ran into Yanfei and Shinobu, who told us you were closed for a few days. So we figured we'd come find you guys and see if you needed any help. Huh, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being such loyal customers. It's so kind of you to help. With Mr. Ito and the Grandmaster helping me for the last couple of days, we've actually got most of the things we need now. All that's left for us to get are some fresh crabs. And Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King will be able to round them up for us in no time. If everything goes to plan. Uh-oh. I may have spoken too soon. Oh. It's a geofishing hatchling! Bullchucker! Hanakata, watch out! Hold on, stay calm. I'll assess the situation. Hmm. Hard shell? Check. Legs? Not too many. But it more than makes up for that with the whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train your own Ikabuto against. Uh. <coughs> 
uh, how right you are, Oni King. With a training partner like this, an Oni Kabuto is sure to reach the apex of its abilities. Uh, are they serious right now? Wait, I think I recognize that thing. It's always rolling around on a nearby island. It's made quite a reputation for itself as far as Guyun Jiu bishops go. People have taken to calling it Crystal Tornado. Hmm. Okay, why tornado? Why not earthquake? It's because if you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's really aggressive. How did you come to learn that? Oni King, allow me to send in the troops. I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. Go, Ironclad Beetle King! Test your challenger to its limits! Huh, <laughs> it's... it's head. Ah! Ironclad oh. Beetle King! Just set foot stuff. One hit and it's all over? I don't believe it. That, 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 that's not possible. Okay, listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher than it looks. Time to show it what we're really made of. From what I've seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks. And if you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat. Luckily for us, our Oni Kabuto have a little thing called agility on their side. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... Did they die? Uh, belly. Oni King, shall I send in some more Oni Kabuto, or...? Uh, I... I well, you, um... What? Wait, what's Goomba doing? No! Le -le -le -le. Wait, the bishop can understand Guoba? Huh, it just up and left. So, to answer your question from a moment ago, Paimon, I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time we came to gather crabs in Guyon Stone Forest. Tornado gave Golba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. But then Tornado fell unconscious and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. Man, what a cool guy. I mean, I figured he was a pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but... Uh... I've never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. There's only one possible conclusion. This is a warrior with strength, the likes of which I've never seen before. I must say, I concur. I don't know how, but guoba Sun simply commanded that hard-shelled beast to stand down and retreat at once. Come to think of it, he seems like a pro at catching crabs, too. Hmm... Guobasan clearly has some sort of power that lets him bend the minds of shelled organisms to his will. Ah, <gasps> that's it! The truth has been hiding in plain sight all this time. Guobasan is a virtuoso beetle battler. With his skills, he can direct an Oni Kabuto's each and every move. <laughs> huh? Of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> These are the kind of brainwaves that make you the Arataki Gang's greatest ally. You see, if we can get Guobasan to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle fighting world will be our oyster. <gasps> can we stop discussing what special powers Guoba may or may not have? We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then this whole trip will have been a waste. Right! Get a move on, Bug Checker! Shinobu's waiting for you! Also, we want to eat. Huh? Wait, wait, when did we get two new people? Oh, 
compadre! <laughs> if it isn't the Yoni King's right hand. Oh, and of course, the flying lavender. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Wait. Oh, man. Don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Oh, so humiliating. It's so good. Nothing we haven't seen before. And best her for lurking. Oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Only Kabuto don't stand a chance against the Geo Bishop Hatchling. Next time, just give it a couple of whacks with your club. But that would defeat the whole purpose. Uh, let me explain. Now, it's no secret that you've kicked a fair share of butt in your time. And from what I hear, that includes some of the biggest, most powerful, and meanest butt around. So how'd you do it, huh? Were you born stronger than your most fearsome foe? No! Do you rock up to every fight believing that your odds of winning are 100%? Of course not! You start with an impossible goal, defeating the unbeatable enemy. And then you do whatever you gotta do to achieve it. Because even you can't know how much potential you have until you push yourself past your limits. That's how you make yourself not just stronger, but stronger than you ever imagined you could be. Flee the fight once, you'll probably flee the next time. And the time after that, next thing you know, you're that boring little twerp who never had the guts to put himself out there. Because when you flee the fight, all you're really running away from is the person you could have become. Oh, uh, couldn't have put it better myself. I'm speechless. Nothing to uh, it. What's gotten into Bullchucker? He actually said something that made sense. For once, Paimon has nothing to argue back. <sighs> you hear that? Boba's getting hungry. Crystal Tornado's gone now anyway, and your Oni Kabuto won't be ready to fight again anytime soon. So, are you just gonna stand here gawking, or...? Chef Sama makes a good point. We are still far from being worthy enough to seek the tutelage of the mighty sensei, Guoba-san. <sighs> I have heard tell of a great contest of fine warriors that was once held in this place. We stand on hollowed ground, and the very air we breathe is abuzz with the might of great duelists. I say we set up a ring here and now. I shall summon the mightiest beetle battlers of Liyue, and as iron sharpens iron, we will hone our skills and training with them. Then, and only then, will we be ready to seek the guidance of Kuoba-san. There are no beetles to Once we with. have learned his ways, we will track down that shelled beast and do battle against it once more. Paimon's got a... well, a feeling about this, but not actually sure if it's a good one or a bad one. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, oh! Oh, I'm with you, Grandmaster. Yeah, you're saying the time has come to unveil the plan. This is the moment. It's time for the long-awaited Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. That's right. There's no time to lose, Oni King. Let's set up the arena. Hey! Hey! We weren't done talking to you yet! Ugh, unbelievable. Look at them. Not a care in the world. All right, both are fighting. I always have time for it number one passion. What did they say it was called again? The Arataki... something something? Anyway, some sort of beetle fighting tournament, right? I think Hanakato might have mentioned it before. If I wasn't so busy with work at the restaurant, I'd love to take Woba along and watch. But right now, the top priority is dealing with all these fresh crabs. Come on, let's head back! Shinobu was saying the Arataki gang came to Liyue for her classmates reunion, right? Won't throwing an impromptu beetle fighting competition interfere with their plans? They don't have to participate. Uh, well, not much we can do about it except to head back to Wanmin and tell Shinobu. But we're here already. Uh, which... is that the island? Strike a pose! Is the fish up here? Uh, yeah, I think it was here. Oh no, it isn't here anymore. 
Let's see if they are setting up the arena. Remember there was a tournament here with Beidou uh, and stuff, but I don't really remember what happened here. We follow a guy with Kazuha, but I don't know remember why, what he did. Shangling, Traveler, and Paimon. Uh, wait, where are the other two? Hey, we didn't get any crabs. <sighs> Let me guess. Ito and Hanakato are up to their usual antics. We'll fill you in shortly. First, I need to get all these pristine ingredients safely stored away. The Mistflower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer. Hmm. Plus, the Traveler and Paimon are valued customers, eagerly awaiting a grand feast. I'll get cooking. Then we can catch up while we eat. Chilling and global wipe up a meal from ingredients collected for under trip. It's not long before an exceptional meal is served. By now you're finishing over hungry show, the feasting begins. As you dine, you tell Shinobi and Fei about Ito and Hanakado's running with Crystal Tornado and the plane to hold a battle of a beetle fighting boot camp. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? <sighs> that doesn't bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. We're guests here, which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Leave them to me. I'll put a stop to it. Hmm, I don't know. I think it could be fun. Anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. According to the Comprehensive Compendium of Liyue La, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. You never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have even more people to hang out with when you next come to Liyue. Yeah, and you can bring them all to Wanmin Restaurant for your meals. <sighs> Wait. First the event, and now you're already planning our next trip? Uh, given the Arataki gang's financial situation... Ah, oh, come on. You gotta learn to cut loose more. You came all this way. You should be focused on catching up with old friends, making some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. I need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for something else anyway, so I can get the ball rolling for Ito's thing while I'm there. Alright, I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later, and bring the permit with me. Yanfei is in a good mood today. She didn't take any persuading to help out with the event. Well, event helpful. planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the Masterful Chefs Contest, and she has a lot of contacts because of her work. She's also on vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in the mood to have some fun. Well, I've missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. Guess I've got no choice but to deal with Boss directly now. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for all your help so far. I promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. Uh, you mean you don't need us to come with you? Well, if Ito's serious about defeating that Geovishop hatchling with Oni Kabuto, Paimon's kind of curious to see how everything goes down. You'll help with the boss. So we want to try the competition too. Now that you mention it, didn't you help boss out a lot at the last one of these? The almighty Arataki Extraordinary and Exhilarating Extreme Beetle Brawl? Oh, we didn't really help out. We just played a few matches. But it was actually super fun. 
<laughs> Either way, it sounds like you understand Boss's perspective far better than I do, so maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. I'll take all the help I can get. Sure, or, uh, you know, maybe we could just let him go ahead with it, huh? We've already beaten our expected turnover for this month, and it'll still be a while before Dad gets back with the rest of the new stock. So we should be able to take it easy for a while. After that, we should be back to business as usual. Things won't be anywhere near as busy as they've been the last few days. That means we should have time to go and watch Mr. Ito's beetle fighting event. <laughs> King Boba actually uh, be a bit of faster. Oh no, I didn't All right, get those. Boss. I just Fun saw time the clicking thing. Is over. Let's head home. The porch. Shinobu, I, I I can explain. No, you can't. Our funds have run out. We've spent too long here. After buying our tickets for the boat home, the gang fund is down to double digits. How can we possibly afford to hold a tournament? Yenfei Senpai very kindly offered to handle the legalities, otherwise you wouldn't even have a permit. Are you expecting her to foot the bill as well? Put a stop to this now, before things get out of control. But, but, you don't understand. We have a situation here. Normally, I'm happy to do things your way, but the Arataki Gang's two top Onikabuto warriors just lost to some pet rock. Look, we have a whole arena set up and everything. If we back out now, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. You've lost plenty of beetle fights before. Even I can beat you, and I'm not even a serious player. Why are you so bothered about losing to some bishop hatchling? Oh, Shinobu! That was a low blow. Anyway, that's ancient history. I'm on a whole different level now. There isn't a single beetle fighter out there who can touch me. I'm serious about beating that pet rock. Don't think I've got what it takes? And <laughs> Try me. Gladly. You want to do this the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. Grandmaster Hanakato, get me and Boss a beetle each. Maybe he'll be more amenable to reason after a crushing defeat. If I win, you have to come back with me. No complaining, and no making any more trouble for Yenfei-senpai. Uh, Shinobu! Oni-king! I... You're really doing this, huh? I, uh, didn't think you'd take it this far. Okay, uh, so, sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon, I delegate this challenge to you. You're making Paimon fight me? <laughs> No surprises there. No surprise here either. It is so predictable. Uh, what Bob Checker is really saying is, <laughs> if you want to fight the Oni King, you have to go through Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon first. Exact mundo, amigo. Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon is one of the Arataki Gang's top beetle fighters, but even she isn't in the same league as moi. So, Shinobu, if you want to duel with the Don, you gotta beat the Milan. Except... Paimon refuses. What?! Even Paimon knows that you can't just expect other people to pick up your slack all the time. It's not right! So if you're out of Mora, then tough luck. You gotta watch your sending. If Paimon helps you out, that'll just make more trouble for Yanfei, and then Shinobu will owe her a favor. Okay, true. You make a fair point. But it's all good. I have a backup plan for situations like this. If we really are out of funds, then, uh, I'll find a job. I'll work nights, do beetle fighting during the day, and pay any expenses out of my own pocket. It'll work. The Grandmaster has helped me find a few good gigs before. As long as it's physical work and the pay is good, I'll take it. Now you're talking! See, that's the kind of attitude Pylon can get behind. Uh, where is Top Dog? You watch the bottom line. Don't rely on someone else when you can do yourself. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. 
Your plan is all well and good, and I do hope you try not to be a burden on other people. But you still need to beat me first. Wait, so I know what boss know. is trying to do. He's making me fight Paimon first to use up my Onikabuto stamina. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Even with a disadvantage, I'm still not going to make this easy for you. But she's still fighting Paimon. You know where I'm supposed to begin. So, uh, but this should just decline. Press D to come in Forge. I don't remember that. Oh. By her first battle, she knows that the nerve loses to Crimson Step under Pamela's direction. Ah, oh, so I, If I actually fought, I could try to lose to see what will happen if Shinobu won. I lost. I can't believe it. That... that was so tense. Shinobu nearly got the better of time on there. A dazzling duo, a lot of fantastic fight. Hey, hey! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon destroys Shinobu on the first attempt! Oh! <laughs> you really are natural at this, aren't you? As agreed, we now have Shinobu's official support to host the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. I haven't battled in ages. Guess I'm out of practice. I'll have to move to plan B. Try to keep costs to a minimum, and make sure Yenfei Senpai doesn't end up doing everything for us. I'm gonna hold you to your word, boss. Fund this event yourself by working nights. Battle beetles all you want during the day. And one other thing. Our boat tickets home were booked well in advance. I can amend the date, but only by a few days. So, keep this event to maybe four or five other people tops, or you'll run out of time, okay? I don't want you getting carried away. Got it, sure, promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Shinobu, you've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I'll head down to the harbor and see about changing the tickets. I'm warning you, you'd better not go spending all our mora while I'm gone. Okay, so we've only got five battles to get in shape enough for Guobasan. Then we gotta master what he teaches us, then take down that cocky pet rock. Shinobu is asking us to do the impossible here. But this is the kind of hardcore challenge I live for. <laughs> Don't worry, Oni King. I'll find people to join us in our great training endeavor. So long as there are worthy beetle battlers to be found, I'll be sure to sense their presence and bring them over to our camp. We haven't been in Liyue for long, but I'm certain that this vast land is filled with mighty warriors. We'll have no trouble finding but one of these each day. Now, as for the esteemed Oni King's right hand and honorable sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon... <laughs> We've done our part. We saved your butts by getting Shinobu to agree to this. Paimon saw the look of sheer terror on your faces. You're clearly no match for her. But didn't want to participate. Uh, you'll be uh, conventional to show your gratitude as a gift. With a gift. Surely the attack gang gives credit where credit's due. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I, I will uh, uh, leave it to me. I'll come up with something. You'll get your reward, don't you worry. In the meantime, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving wide iron lavender melon don't have other plans, then prepare to watch history in the making. Because in a few short days, I, the bona fide Beetle Battle King, will raise my game to new heights, win the respect of Guobasan, and become a living legend! Booyah! Cool! Yeah, we'll be watching. So, uh, <laughs> no pressure or anything, but. What the echo? If you mess this up and everyone completely wipes the floor with you, we'll see the whole thing.
uh, tap for bonus strength and combat to pay a small amount of stamina to move half a tile or to get close to opponents. This move does not deal damage. Hold, charge, synergy, and charge for the same. Uh, spend greater amount of energy for forge. Uh, when this hush hits an opponent, can deal damage. Stamina consumed. The distance traveled and the damage dealt will change will change based on the amount of time spent charging. A fully charged rush take only one to two times forward. Come to reach the opening exact position upon finishing its rush and hit it before a prison strike. It deals greater damage. You cannot trigger the special attack by tapping to advance. And overcharging will not allow for you to trigger it either. Uh, the time spent charging the size of rush distance. You can use the charging process to judge how far you are on the combat to advance forward. Then back and spacer the one that to move on the tile backward and dodge open east. And if the distance or time in the dodge is incorrect, your Kabuto may still take damage. You can both unleash their attacks at the same time, your only combat will be knocked down without dealing damage to opponent. They know that time uh, the attack timings and you should replace change cancel charging to avoid any search damage spanger. Press a guard bullet to consume some damage from a shield against hostile electro bullets and chest streams. Uh, holding the guard button will continue to consume stamina and maintain shields. Lose the guard right before electro bullets hit to bounce it, bounce it back. Uh, okay, I, I think I kind of remember bouncing back, but I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, people. Oh, it's not... Do I have something here? Complete the first four training stages, only difficult to unlock. Okay. So it's probably here already. Uh, uh, can we, we can read that. Alright, so... Hang on, let me check here first. They have a description. Yeah. Uh, remove its tricks. Learn the first closing openings and attack the consecutive strikes. Uh, there's some profound mysterious principle underlying bit of fighting. <laughs> it's just a random guy they got. Considerable combat strength and medium close range, that consecutively medium movement speed. Okay. <sighs> Being too popular Listen can be to such this. a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so much? Hello all. I am Iron Tongue Tien, here with an official signboard for the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. Oh. Whoa! Is this supposed to be Bull Checker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Ah! Uh, That's a Oh, sweet! Sadly, it's not my own original artwork, but check out that design and that line work. It's so cool. <laughs> it's epic. It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat of battle. Dude, wait, not that. Uh, how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Uh, maybe <laughs> Esquire? Ah, that's the one. Tien Esquire. Your artwork is incredible. Words cannot express the Arataki gang's gratitude. You can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also, I'm no artist, just a storyteller. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yen Fei looks out for her a lot, so when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Oh, so this is Yen Fei's doing. Man, she really thought of everything. This is exactly what we needed. 
Young Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself, but I've heard a lot about it and have always wanted to try it out for myself. <laughs> Who knows, it might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. Beetle fighting is something you have to have a natural affinity for. Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. Dude, uh, that'd be awesome. All right, Squirt. Uh, squat. Yeah, yeah, Squire. Yeah, Squire. <laughs> uh, may, may the best man win. Oh, oh, have to complete that. Uh, back of the show is hard difficult. You can direct play rewards. All right. Let's see it. Not that. And. Okay, that's for each one. Alright, so I'll have to do at least two battles with each. This level of intensity is just perfect for such contacts. Don't test. Ah, wonderful! Hmm, I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive high adrenaline sport. Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here to be told time and again. Great dueling with you, TN Esquire. Ah, the pleasure was all right. The phrase is, the pleasure is all mine, Oni King. <laughs> Details, schmeetails. Point is, thank you for supporting our boot camp. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh, please, pay no regard. Uh, just pretend I'm not here. Man. <laughs> I've never fought against someone so cultured before. My mind's buzzing from all those fancy words. What's that buzzy feeling called again? Oh yeah, <laughs> learning. Looks like the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp is getting off to a good start. No, hang on, we've gotta be healing up again. Well now, friend, have you come to take part in boss attacks blazing armor beetle battle boot camp as well? Tell me about the way of the beetle battler. Uh, great question. Indeed, I could go on for quite some time about this. Leo has its own types of contests between insects, and like Onikaburo battles, each has its own unique features. For example, there are Contests of agility as well as competitions to see which buck can cry the loudest. Each one of these battles has its own set of mysteries that, with a few flourishes of pain, can transform into many a tale I can tell my regulars time and time again. Well, that's a bit of battle. Wonderful previous duel was most exciting indeed. I was planning to review it quite carefully. In any case, let's go for another round, just like Bowser Attack would. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't that. I thought it was the middle one. Oh, 
try try again just with the same okay good Between you, eh? Another kid? Oh, didn't we go through this last time? Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakado's a kid too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. Although, uh, Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience, her chosen Onikabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. I don't know what you guys are talking about. My Onikabuto was a present from Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. Ho oh, ho! Your father sounds like a real stand-up guy. Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. <gasps> you make it sound like Paimon's the weakest choice on our side! Still, Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because you two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun! Yeah. Only the only Kabuto got hurt. As a guard bullish for some stamina, I know. Oh, I need to check that. Fair on your Kabuto. Let's keep distance attack with electro bullets. Use guard to defend against it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some long this common string attacks for lightning bullets, very right? agile. Oh, it finished. Are you finished? Right. Can I try again? No. Is it over? What fun? Yeah, we just kill your bug. Oh, Paimon nearly messed that up. Uh, oh, I nearly died of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. How'd you get so freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? So this is how Oni Kabuto play together? I get it now. <laughs> uh, do you have time to play some more? And I also want to watch you guys play, too. Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this. Oh, kind of terrifying. Hey, Bullchucker, if you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shelled creatures just by listening to Guoba talk to Crystal Tornado. Ha! 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 Yeah, I wish. Oh, uh, hang on, I didn't check here. See, there's an opening approach. Oh, no, no, this was just. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me about your nickname? You mean Break Up of Terror? Uh, it came about because Daddy once gave me a buttercup flower, which I put by my windowsill every night. But 
by the next morning it will have raced up to the roof. Someone said that they saw my flower climbing the walls in the dead of night, just like a cat. It was later that we found that there was a cat in the city that had taken leg into my plate, which led to it making off with the plate. Don't know why, but as the story spread, some it somehow became the weather cup chain chain race turned into a cat. They're fine. Not that I mind, but when the Great Master Avocado <laughs> person <laughs> heard about this, they thought my nick that my nickname was really cool, and they even asked me to play this game. And well, I'm having lots of fun, and I love to play more. Let's get to it. Alright, I'm gonna learn how to fight a uh, white melon thing. Uncomfortable chances of beating cats and dogs. This kind of competition is really fun. Right? Contest of super OP gear. Gear? Hey there! I'm back! So then, how's the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp coming along? Great timing, Yanfei! My savior! Oh, thanks for helping out with the permit. Yo, and for the sign with the epic artwork. Wait, I know that look. Are you, uh, looking to flip some beetle too? Huh? Something wrong with that? I have a big client who does a lot of cross-border commerce. Anyway, she showered me with gifts once after I helped her win a huge lawsuit. And among them was a very special Onikabuto. I didn't know how to look after it at the time, so I got Granny to look after it for a while. It's looking pretty buff these days. Mind if I join in? You're not worried I'll cramp your style, are you? We ought not dismiss your savior, Oni King. What she lacks in experience, she makes up for with one of the sturdiest built and most awe-inspiring Oni Kabuto I have ever seen. You make me an offer I can't refuse. All right, time to send in the Oni King's right hand with Crimson Staff. I know my compadre will stay cool under pressure. Betcha. Thanks for the vote of confidence. So it's me versus the Traveler? All right. I haven't quite got the hang of this game yet, so apologies in advance for any blunders. All right. Uh, let's see. A massive encounter that is adept at consecutive sprint attacks and quake attacks how do I dodge a quake? attacks with quakes oh it's large Okay. Alright. Just select the middle one. Yeah. Oh, this is like there's quite a lot to build barrels. Yanfei's Oni Kabuto is so strong! What has Madame Peng been feeding that thing? <laughs> See? Your savior's Oni Kabuto is a force to be reckoned with! But just like last time, when my generals threw you a few curveballs, the mightiest blade cannot slay its foe except in the hands of a skilled swordmaster. Why wise words, Grandmaster? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good thing my compadre kept it together. Wow, what a blast! 
I could get into this whole beetle battling thing. <sighs> this is so much fun. Thanks, everyone. I'm gonna stick around and play some more. Okay. So would like to have another bit of battle with me. Maybe it's lately, young Fei. I'm fine, I'm good. I mean, even Legal Express don't have business to thank you every day, you know? Which is just as well, while my fellow dis dispos are having their reunion, I'm going to be spending all my annual leave. I'll wear my fuel, sleep my due, play to my heart's content, and then go back to my work refreshing and renewed. That's, now that's what they call a happy life. Let's go, let's go, who knows, I might discover a little trick uh, and I'll have you back into a corner before I know it. Oh. Oh, I lost a lot of life. Charge up, drop one success location, strike them, press strike, yeah, try again. Oh, I dodged! How do I can sell? Oh, space can sell. Alright, almost there. No! Don't die, don't die. There. Yes, there's no shortcuts to becoming good at any game. Oh, no, 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 this this makes no sense. We, uh, how did you do that? My my reputation is destroyed. <laughs> It's like a bean to the heart. <laughs> it was an honor doing battle with you, good sir. <laughs> what the? So polite. <laughs> so, been busy losing while we were away, Bullchucker? I don't see it that way. No first. Unless the bona fide Beetle Battle King is ready to give up now, he hasn't lost to me yet. In battle and in life. It's normal to hit setbacks every once in a while, but a setback only turns into a failure if you make the decision to stop trying. Word! Heck yeah! I ain't about to admit defeat yet! Still, there's nothing to be gained from constantly making excuses. Don't put all your energy into talking garbage. Spend it on fighting a little harder instead. Oh, burn. Oni King, this brand of enemy doesn't seem to be your area of expertise. I advise you send in another of your generals and observe the duel in detail. Watching others do battle is also a crucial part of a warrior's training. Some skills one learns by doing, others one learns through observation. Ah, good point, Grandmaster. And good timing, compadre. Oni King's right hand, I'm handing the fight over to you. It's your turn! Make I it count, Traveler. I just fought. Did it. Piece of cake. So, I'm going head to head with the legendary Traveler. Guess I better look sharp. I didn't expect her to talk like that when we did her missions. 
Uh, holding guard button will constantly use consume stamina to maintain shooting in its hostile chest streams. Uh, Unclad Beetle King back in action. Shadow Combo prefers attacking for a far with electro bullets and jet streams. Jet streams will continue to shut forward after a brief charge up. But the guard button continues to form a shield. Alright. Oh, I didn't. Paint. Come on. Amazing, thanks for showing me how it's done. Yeah, nicely done. Hard. You beat me. I'd go as far as to say that it's an honor to lose against the traveler. Ah, so that's how you do it. I never would have thought of that. Yep, when you're up against a cunning enemy, you gotta get creative. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. And our journey's far and wide. We often have to think on our feet. No, we usually just Clinging to show these shields can and never heat. solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. I think Shinobu said something like that once too. I guess there's something to it after all. But I'll mull it over some other time. Right now, my focus is on the task at hand. More beetle fighting. <laughs> Ah, it is them. So, like to test your strength against me again. So, you enjoy Beetle Battles too. I wouldn't say that I enjoy it. I still think that there is something to learn from many activities, so it wouldn't hurt to give it a go. We often get a lot of non combat related requests mixed in with our high difficulty commissions. Some mechanical puzzles, following clues to search for specific objects. Never know when you might even encounter a commission that requires you to command other creatures to fulfill a certain objective. I'm sure that you, of all people, would have experience with that. Let's go for it. Good, here I go then. Alright, this one. I may get lucky, but I think it'd be hard. Good. That was good. Uh, you're truly really strong, not a single weakness to exploit. Yeah, better just take them to the corner. Hey! Good to see everyone! How's it going? Having fun? Shangling Guava! You finally made it! Well, Bullchucker's certainly having a blast. 
day has finally come! Wobasan, I've been training hard at the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp, and now I want to show you just how far I've come. Uh, and Crimson Staff, too. If my progress satisfies you, then please, teach me! Show me the way to communicate with Crimson Staff, Crystal Tornado, and all the shelled organisms of this world. Do that, and I swear, once I become the reigning champion of the beetle fighting world, I will build a mighty statue in your image at the Arataki Gang's beetle fighting headquarters! Yes. What the? Guobasan got a brand new Oni Kabuto! That's that nice. That does not look normal. Oh, it appears to be not a typical Oni Kabuto shell, but one built of resilient wood! Is it wearing a suit of armor? We told Granny all about your Onikabuto boot camp. It really piqued her interest when she heard that Guobo was getting a disciple. As it turned out, a friend of hers had made a whole bunch of gardening and landscaping machines to look after the silk flowers on the terrace. Oh. They're called bloom pruners. The bloom pruner can transform into the shape of any creature to blend into its environment. Squirrels, butterflies, finches, you name it. And of course, Onikabuto too. So, Master gave Globa a bloom pruner and got it to take the form of an Onikabuto so he can battle against you. That's pretty high tech for a gardening appliance. Uh, Xiaoling's master is Madame Ping, so Madame Ping's friend. <gasps> Aha! Of course! I don't remember Xiaoling referring to her as Master. Uh, remind me, was that a game? Zip it, no spy it. No, come on. No machine can compare to a real live oh. Oni Kabuto warrior. Did Guobasan pick a dumbed down enemy on purpose so we can showcase all our awesome skills? You may be wise to temper your optimism, Oni King. My beetle senses are failing to detect this Oni Kabuto's might. Or perhaps <laughs> it's too profound for me to fathom. It's not even alive. There's nothing for you to sense. Uh, anyway, Guobasan may possess limitless power, but a warrior needs to be one with his weapon. The bond between Oni Kabuto and Trainer is forged through blood, sweat, and tears. Not wood, mesh, and gears. <laughs> Crimson Staff and I are like glove and fist. Let's get this duel going. It's time for Guobasan to witness my true potential once and for all. Alright. Um uh, Pruner, an amazing omnipotent machine in the form of an Onikabuto that is hardened against interruptions, requires two person strikes to remove. Oh it has mastered multiple attacks. Such as consecutive sprint attacks, quick attacks, less blows, just streams, and its machine is struck by precision strikes. It might go for a counter attack, maintain the appropriate distance, and take appropriate caution. Mm. Alright. Alright, uh, develop on couple shaped machine, extremely powerful abdominal ranges, can take consecutive earthquakes, at various other attacks, enhance resistance to interruption, medium of set speed. All right. Wait, I wasn't there. Okay, at least it's not invulnerable. What? If 
pirates perished here with that. Whoa, Bullchecker sure made short work of the Bloom Pruner. I won! Victory is mine! With my trusty Crimson Staff, I have defeated the mighty Guobasan! Calamitous Colossus Count Crushmore. Alrighty then. <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. <clears throat> Guobasan, if I have earned your recognition, I humbly ask you to teach me the ways of shelled organism communication. Uh huh? Guobasan, you look pleased? But you just lost to me in battle. Does this mean you're proud of me for my swift progress? Oh, shucks. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you're too kind, Guobasan. Oh, you're just being modest. I know you were going easy on me. It looks like Guobas all warmed up now. The Bloom Pruner is ready to operate at full power. Quoba, remember the plan? In this round, we want to increase the Bloom Pruner's power output from a tenth of a percent to one percent, okay? What? Any higher and you'll risk knocking Ito's Onikabuto out cold. <sighs> okay, there it is. Paimon knew something was up. What, a tenth of a percent? That was enough? <sighs> As I feared, we have barely scratched the surface. Wait, hold on a minute. A tenth of one percent? As in 0.1 percent? As in one one thousandth? Uh, you've got to, you've got to be kidding me. All that was just one one thousandth of its top power? No, no, no. Guoba's a little confused. You did say you wanted to train your Onikabuto to defeat Crystal Tornado, correct? I thought it would go without saying given the size. The Bloom Pruner has to shift rocks the size of casserole dishes, so obviously it has to be pretty strong. Even then, Crystal Tornado is bigger still. It dwarfs me and Guoba, and it's even taller than you! Is it possible? If we were talking, oh, twice as strong as the last fight, I think I'd have a shot. Ten times as strong, and we're already looking at losing most, if not all, of the time. But a thousand times stronger? Who am I kidding? It's hopeless. <laughs> when your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. She wasn't talking like of that. Of course, Guobasan. This is what you've been trying to tell me all along. I gotta study mechanics, then build a suit of armor for Crimson Staff that'll take his abilities to a whole new level. Or maybe, heck, I, I could build a bigger, stronger mechanical Onikabuto, piloted by Crimson Staff under my direction. <gasps> An Onikabuto piloting a mechanical Onikabuto? How do you expect to pull that off? Does that even still count as a beetle battle? There's a dream. I believe in it. Seeing the power of Bloom Pruner has made me realize something. There's a natural limit to Onikabuto's strength. People have tried to tell me this before. Shinobu, the Grandmaster, especially Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon. Admitting defeat is shameful, but not even trying to mix up your tactics one time? That's just plain stupid! Guobasan has shown me a new path. Mechanically modified Oni Kabuto. With this new technique in my arsenal, size will be no obstacle to me and my valiant beetle warriors as we set out to beat Crystal Tornado once and for all! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Woba's not too sure about all that. Mechanics, huh? Hmm. I'd have to get my master to see if her friend would be willing to help. She's the expert. Did you say expert? Please, Woba-san, Chef-sama, my savior, introduce me. Uh-huh. Thinking of becoming the second Arataki gang member to study in Liyue, are you, boss? Ah, Shinobu! When'd you get back? 
time's up. We spent our last mora on these boat tickets, and if we don't get to the harbor pronto, they'll go to waste. But, 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 I, it, give me a minute, okay? We're, we're, we're in the middle of an extremely important discussion here. Yeah, I heard. I was actually very pleased to hear the suggestion of you doing some sort of studying coming out of your own mouth. I have some relevant experience, so I can write a little booklet to get you started. But unfortunately, studying in Liyue is very expensive. The Arataki Gang's typical expenditures are a drop in the ocean by comparison. So, what do you intend to do about it? It'll be fine. I'll just, uh, I'll work like a horse when I get back to Inazuma. I know what I'm getting into here, all right? I got it all planned out in my head. It's not like I've never gotten paid work before. Soon as I get earning, we'll all have cash for the burning. <laughs> and don't think for one second I'll be abandoning you or the rest of the Arataki gang, neither. I ain't the kind of head honcho that runs off to go study and leaves his gang behind. If we're gonna study, we do it as a team. Once I've got enough mora for everyone's tuition fees, the whole Arataki gang is coming to Liyue. We'll study together, learn some epic new skills together, and come out the other side as the stronger, smarter, invincible Arataki gang. You're saying all of the right things. Uh, who are you and what have you done with Boss? Wow, Bullchucker! Those were some bold words! You better make sure you follow through. Arataki does a middle of his word. Don't rely on someone else when you can do it yourself. So. <laughs> Of course, I, uh, I still need to iron out some deeds in terms of what kind of work I can get and how much I can break in per day, but, yeah. In that case, Oni King, I'll stay here in Liwe. Firstly, this will enable me to follow up with Chef Sama and discuss our study plans in detail. Secondly, now that word of the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp has begun to spread, I'll be able to scout for talented warriors and continue optimizing the Oni Kabuto training diet. Also, if the Oni King's right hand and sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon wish to continue battling or analyze the battle so far, I'll be here to support them. Awesome! Good thinking, Grandmaster! Okay, standard procedure applies. I'll let your grandpops know what you're up to so he won't uh, worry about you. He has <laughs> man, family. I am so pumped to see what you'll have for us next time I see you. I do need to make one thing clear, though. I can't promise that we'll be able to talk an Adeptus into taking you on as students. Yenfei and I will do our best, but we'll just have to see how it goes. The great master of whom you speak boasts a skill others can only dream of. Their pride and prestige don't phase us. The important thing is that I, on behalf of the Oni King and the Arataki Gang, can find a way to show them we're serious and sincere in our quest to master the mechanical arts. So I'll need to do some research to find out what kind of gift we should offer if we're to be seen as worthy of learning the mysteries behind the manufacturer of the Bloom Pruner. Boss, we gotta leave right now or we're not gonna make it in time. <sighs> Alright, I guess this is it. Traveler, Paimon, Yanfei senpai Miss Shangling, Guoba... You've all been a huge help to boss with this beetle battle event. I really can't thank you enough. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. I hope you can find some use for it in your future endeavors. Wow, you got us a gift! Thanks, Shinobu, you're so thoughtful! Freebies for the win. The time has come. Adios, compadre. See ya, sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon. Goodbye, Guobasan and Chef Sama, and farewell, my savior. I'll be back real soon. I promise. We'll meet again. La 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 la. Don't make promises you can't keep, Bullchucker. It's good to have ambitions, but don't let yourself get carried away in the heat of the moment. Do what Shinobu tells you. Be realistic about what you can achieve, and make sure you pace yourself. But of course, if everything works out, Paimon can't wait to see Crimson Staff driving a ginormous mechanical Onikaba till the next time we meet. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Are we going to fight it? 
What's that? Eastern ramen. Mm. Mm. A gift from Cook Shinobu after helping in the Bonafide Beetle Battle King power up and find new ways to in Beetle Battle in your attack blazing armor Beetle Battle Bootcamp. Dry ramen blocks are placed in a sturdy yet light box with sealed condiments, exceptionally rich utensils, and a bowl. Put the ramen in its comments in the bowl, then pour the hot water to quickly make a bowl ramen that doesn't taste too bad at all. Convenient, isn't it? But according to the letter that Cook Shinobu left in the box, neither she nor our attack Ito got to eat this during their journey on the on water to Liwe. Because they only bought cookies and pickles. Uh, during their stay in Liwe, Cook Shinobu was inspired by the wet and foods there and created this instant rummy so that Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving while Iron Lavender Melon could fight off their hunger during their troubles. But can I use it? Do I have... Yeah, it's down here. I usually have to use that for something. Hmm. <sighs> Boring! Isn't there anything else more interesting? Okay, still got it. Uh, can I know how I would like to play another game with Global. He still likes to test Bloom Brunner's skill. Come across from his companion, God of Cookery. Uh, school. Uh, how are your preparations for opening one main restaurant? Oh, things back at the restaurant aren't too busy, which is why Guobo and I are free to play a few games. Thanks for the concern, though. Almost completely stocking, so we should be back in business as usual in a few more days. If you and Paimon still haven't had enough, you're free to swing by for me anytime. Come on, you didn't come back to the option to fight. Yes, I shall be your Ito. Nice and for the battle battle. Alright. And now I can't wait for the next one. Oh, I was behind. That's actually easier. You just keep my distance. I don't have stamina. Yeah, I better just shoot back instead of charging. Yay. Then now, uh, what about you, guy? Oh, great, only king's right hand. Is there anything I might assist you with? Give me on Kabuto. Of course, that is well within my abilities. However, it takes some time to assess the compatibility between uh, on Kabuto and Ultimate. And Warrior, maybe. Uh, I've been able to guess more or less which sort of on Kabuto will suit your fighting style based on our previous battles, of course. That's been quite a test of my abilities too. No matter of where I should go capture such a capital is something I must give much thought to. I will have to ask for your patience in this matter. Next we meet, I'll have the perfect answer ready for you. Okay, I'll forget that. I'll forget that. But it will be really neat if we got our own Onikabuto next time this event comes around. They just made a promise to us. So about the gift? I mean the gift we're going to give to the Great Master. To be honest, I haven't thought of any good ideas just yet. The Master was able to create an incredibly intricate bloom pruner, so perhaps we could buy some exquisite machine processing equipment 
and plaque it into a gift box. That may be satisfactory. That said, I only have 2 million mora on hand. Weren't you guys down to double digits? So I now I'll be able to get my hands on the best stuff. It certainly wouldn't be good enough to catch the master's eye. Besides, I'm not sure how long I'll be here in Liu and how much more I'll need for my own expenses. Gotta find some way to deepen my pockets. Uh, Two million more isn't a small sum, you know? Is the money all yours? Small portion of it is in my regular savings, but most of it was given to me by my grandfather. He used to be a great adventurer in the past. And he was blessed with good luck every time he took his only couple to him, leaving him to discover large amounts of treasure. That's why he greatly supports my beetle battling career. He deposits some funds for me every so often. Deposits some funds on like Northland Bank. We never needed to withdraw money. And I don't spend it willy nilly. One day, I want to use it on something so super important. Earlier, I saw that the attack gang's finance weren't doing so hot, so I tried to support the Oni Kings with some funds. But he refused me every time, saying, Nope, ain't no way we're letting our allies pay. Me and the gang have backbone. I'll have you know. I respect the spirit, and so when I do get the gift for the Great Master, I'll report those expenses to the Oni King. No matter how many millions of mora it adds up to. Uh, I'll see you around, Grandmaster. You two on your king's right hand. Wasn't I supposed to deal with that... Uh, Geovish hat? I mean, that's kind of a threat to people. Isn't it? Oh, there it is now. Oh, oh mission is almost dead. Solidify. Shower me with care. Care. Do your worst. Grant us your blessing. Ha. 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 Poor guy. I don't remember coming back here. So just that nobody cared that we stabilize just killed it. Mm. I guess I'll go back there and talk to the Solidify. See if I have the option to mention it. You first. Uh, okay, nothing. And maybe you. Why aren't you in order? Uh, no. All right. Uh, then rewards. We try you. Uh, completed. Guess that was it. Um, not that it's important, but from what she said, um, the restaurant should be open by now, but not completely restocked. So I suppose her father is Violet just here. grass is a usual. plant that enjoys a moist environment and is best. Uh, no, I guess we're back to normal here. All right, let me just. Try to get a show of rose. No. 
six more days. Uh, mm -mm. Hey, I'm up to date. Where do you it's want to game. go next? If you'd like to see Liu Wei's tourist spots. Yeah, that's just crazy. I'm up to date. Yeah, except for that, but I never do that. Alright. I have a few references. So I'm off. 